My Garmin Forerunner 410 has reached the end of its useful life. I got it at least second hand from a triathlete who couldn't stand the capacitive bezel and I have to agree it's not the best. So it's time to see what's inside, whether we can replace the battery and what with and have a nose at the general design. But first, just getting the strap and strap ends off is a bit of a dark art. Garmin provide a special forked pokey tool for this, but a thin screwdriver blade or shim wouldn't make the job much harder. The six tiny screws are all T5. Points to Garmin for that. This is the same as it was on the Forerunner 10. One extra thing I need to deal with here is that this is a custom mod. I added a micro USB charging socket as I often needed to charge without the special clip. It's sealed on with Suguru, so I need to slice that off to access the front back seam. And we're in. And we find a lithium ion rechargeable button cell battery. It's a coin cell with solder tags. The model number is an LIR3048 or a PD3048. It's 3.7 volts and you can totally buy this on eBay. Unlike the Forerunner 10, this battery is actually soldered rather than dropping. The tabs on the battery solder to the top of the charging board, which is under the yellow tape. I'm not going to do that right now, but I am going to reassemble this and check we've not tripped any anti-tamper parts. And a quick check of the power lead shows that we are good to go. In the back of the case, you have the battery and the charging board, which are essentially one piece when the tabs are soldered in. The back also has two wires running to the round disc, which I think is the Ant Plus antenna, and two wires running to the charging pins. The back connects to this front with this six wire connector here. The front has two boards, the small GPS board in the strap and then the main board for the face. Each of the boards is held in by one tiny screw. There seems to be only a single wire running between the main board and the GPS board, which is a little bit odd. And then the main board has quite a fat ribbon cable running to the capacitive bezel and to the buttons on the side as well. 